Let me show you how to design a contact page and embed a fully functional HTML form with Adobe InDesign. Follow along in this tutorial and learn how to create an iPad size contact page for a digital publishing project. Use a platform called ElfSite to build a form and insert the HTML code in an InDesign project to engage viewers and generate leads. We'll also get a closer look at how to publish the project online and test out the form in a web browser. So let's jump right in and start creating. Let's begin by creating a new document. Click on the New File button, and in the New Document window, let's click on the Mobile tab. Click on View All Presets, and then choose iPad 768 by 1024 pixels. Let's change the orientation from Portrait to Landscape. Keep it at one page. Deselect the Primary Text Frame option, and if we scroll down, we can set our margins. We'll set them all to 60 pixels all the way around. So type in 60 and then press tab. And then let's break this chain because we're going to change one of the margin fields. And that will be the left side. I want this to be 34 pixels. So we have 60 at the top, 60 bottom, 60 right, and 34 on the left side. Everything else is good, so we can go ahead and click Create. Let's bring in the main image next. If I go to File and then Place, we could choose our main image. Here it is, city main.jpg. Click open, and here it is in my loaded cursor. I'm gonna start in the upper left-hand corner, and I'm gonna hold shift while I'm dragging, so I have a little bit more control on the frame. Then I'm just going to roughly release, and there's the result. I'm gonna click on the content grabber and use the fill frame proportionally fitting option here to have the image fit the frame proportionally. Next, let's click away, click on the frame, and we want the width of this frame to be 488. So type in 488 in the width field in the control panel and press enter. Then just readjust the frame, snap it to the left edge, and we have our image like so. While we have this set, I'm also going to bring over a guide from the left hand side. You see I'm just dragging a guide and I'm gonna snap it to the right side of that frame. I'll bring over another guide and place it roughly around here. Let's make it 536. For the X, you see that right there in my cursor, and then just release. So we have two guides here, and the contact form will go on the right-hand side. We'll add that in just a bit. I'd like to add a blending mode to the main image, so I'm just gonna click away and then choose the swatches panel here. Click on the swatches panel options and then choose new color swatch. Now I already have a color code for this. It's 92A69A. It's a light green color and it'll be the theme of our contact page design. Don't worry, this code is also included in the lesson files. Go ahead and click OK. Now I can click on the main image and apply that green color. Click on the donut or content grabber and in the opacity settings here in the blending mode, let's choose multiply and set an opacity of 50%. Next, let's add our title and subtitle to our contact page. Click on the type tool and then just draw out a text frame on the side here and let's type in list your property with confidence. And we're going to increase the size of this. Let's make it 52 point and let's change the font to Carla. Let's make it Carla bold. I'm going to increase the frame I also want to ensure that the hyphenation is turned off and I'm going to set the tracking to about negative 60. Then I'm going to position this down below and adjust the frame accordingly. And I'm also going to make this text white. I'm going to reduce the line spacing. You can do that here. You can see it's 62.4. So bring up with confidence a little bit. That looks pretty good. I'm going to extend the frame and type in contact an agent today because this is a fictional realtor company. And then I will just adjust the frame and we're going to set this text size to 28 point. We'll also change the weight from bold to regular and let's reduce the letting here to about 40. So we have our title and our subtitle set here you can just adjust the frame like that. I also have a logo that I'd like to place here for this fictional company. So let's do that. File, place, 
and this is Montclair logo. Go ahead and click open. It's an SVG file and I'm just going to click and drag the size that I want and place it to the left above the main title and subtitle. So that's looking pretty good so far. Next, I'm going to bring in some social media logos to place at the very top. Again, file and place. Double click the icons folder and then choose all the icons and click open. They're all loaded in the cursor here, so I'm just going to click and drag. We can adjust the size in just a sec and the spacing, but just get them on the page first. And then what I'll do is select all of them and decrease the size by holding shift command, that's shift control on Windows, and dragging them all together. I'll bring Facebook up first, then Instagram, then Pinterest, and try to get the, the frames the same depth. And then we'll bring in TikTok. Now, obviously those are far too close together. So I'm gonna press W on my keyboard and then just space out TikTok, select all of them, and then use my distribution tools in the upper right-hand corner of the control panel. They're also here uh, in, the, in the properties panel. And this is the one we want, distribute horizontal centers. There we go, we have a nice spacing and if those are still too big, just press W and let's go ahead and bring those down a bit more. So something like that, and you can also space them out a little more if you want to. So it's something that you can play around with. I'm gonna do Command-0 to go back to fit in view. And I want these to be, to start at the very top, snapped to that margin. Now before we add our contact form, I wanna add a website and an info email to this contact page as well. So as a starting point, let me just select this text here and then paste it just like that. I'm gonna place it in the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna make this that green color that we had. And I'm really going to shrink this down to about 10 point. And this will say info at montclairrealty.com. Select all, shift command R to make it flush right. And then just double click the bottom handle to make it snap. And then we could just kind of align it with the social media icons to the left there. I'm gonna make another copy of this option. That would be Alt on window, drag, and let's place this one in the bottom left. And let's flush left this. So Shift Command L is the shortcut for align to the left. And this will be www.montclairrealty.com. So we have our main image, our title, logo, social icons, email, and website. Now let's hop over to ELF site to create our form and then place it in this space that we've left in InDesign. I wanted to take a moment to mention that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. For some time now, I've been eager to level up my HTML, JavaScript, and web design skills to boost productivity. With classes offered on Skillshare, I've been able to enhance my skills on these specific topics. Here's a class I recently joined taught by Rich Armstrong that focuses on HTML and CSS basics. This class has helped me understand how to write and structure content with HTML and create styles using CSS. Skillshare is the largest online learning community for creatives, with thousands of classes and learning paths led by industry experts across graphic design, animation, web design, illustration, marketing, and much more. Skillshare's learning paths help you deepen your skill set with a group of curated classes that build on one another, ranging from beginner to advanced experience levels. Join Skillshare to take your career, passion, or even side hustle to the next level. And here's the best part. The first 500 people to use the link in the description below will receive a one month free trial of Skillshare. So follow the link and get started today. Now, let's jump back to the tutorial. I'm on elfsite.com. Now you'll have to create an account to get access to one free widget. Once you've done that, click on widgets. In the categories, choose forms, and then select form builder. You can scroll down a little bit, and you'll see that there are some templates here that you can choose from. Let's go ahead with this first option. It's a simple contact form. Then click continue with this template. And now we can customize our form. I'm gonna reduce the number of fields for this form so it fits nicely in the InDesign document that I've set up. So instead of first name, we can edit this 
to be just name. So I'll do that. And I'm also going to make this a required field. I'll click back and I can delete last name. I also don't want to include a phone number, so I'll delete that as well. So basically we have name, email address, message, and then consent. If I choose on the header option here, you can see that the title is called Get In Touch. You can change that to what you want. And same goes with the caption. Elf site does allow you to add a cover image or a logo if you'd like. We'll leave those blank for this. I'm going to click back. If you choose email, responses will go to the email you signed up with when you created your Elf site account. Next, let's click on Layout. The embed type will be inline and the form layout will be vertical. The form width is 620 pixels. Next, let's choose appearance and this is where you'll make many of your changes. Your color scheme can be light or dark. We'll stick with light. I'm going to click on this eyedropper tool to add our theme color. Do you remember the one we created in InDesign? We'll add that same hex code. So that's 92A69A, the light green color there. You can see that the submit button has already turned that color. You could choose from various form styles. You could see them changing here. I do like the second option in this carousel. Let's choose a font. We can search the one we used in our InDesign document, Carla. So go ahead and click that. And you can see that that's already changed in the form as well. You could choose a background color. Right now it's set to white and I'm okay with that. If I click on header, we can change the header color also to that green color for our theme. So again, 92A69A. So our title color and our button are now the green color that we have in our InDesign document. I'll leave the caption color, which is this, to black. That's fine. The title size, I'm going to make 28. And the caption size, I'll make 14. Let's go ahead and click back. And we'll focus now on the form fields. You have the option to change the inside label color, the label color, the field text color. The two areas I'd like to focus on are the fill color. So that's the white color within the field. So I'm going to click this and you can see right now it's just white. So I might choose a light gray just to add a little bit more contrast. Something like that is fine. And I'll click done. And then ensure that the active color is also set to the green color that we have in our theme. The active color is basically when a user is typing a message or putting their name in. You can see that the border is active. It's set to that green color. So those are good. The fonts, the inside label, I'm going to change to 15 pixels. Same with the label and same with the text field. All set to 15. The spacing, let's change that to 22 pixels. And then we can go back to the top and click back. Next, we can click on submit button. And right now we have it set to a filled color with the submit text. I'm gonna choose outline. So the submit is also that green color as well. You also have the option of making it the full width or set it to a custom size. I'm happy with that, so I'll just click back scroll down a bit and let's click on success message again ensure that the button is set to that green color and for this the title will be 24 and the text will be 16. go ahead and click back and now we're set to publish this and add it to the indesign document so go ahead and click this add to website for free That'll generate and it'll be published to the Elf site server. Now remember with the free account, you're gonna get this watermark free online form builder. If you wanna remove that, you'll need to upgrade to one of the plans. So we have our form all set up. I'm going to click publish and then click close. And you can see in the dashboard, our form has been set up. Now I do wanna rename this. I'm just gonna click rename and I'll call this get in touch. You can see I've already called one that in the past, so I'm just gonna click save, and that will update. Now to install this to InDesign, let's click on this install button. You can see all the platforms you can install this to, but if you just wanna copy the embed code, that's available up top here. So let's copy it and jump back over to InDesign to insert it into the layout. Back in InDesign now, let's go ahead and insert the HTML we just copied from the embed code on Elf site. 
To do that, go up to Object and Insert HTML. Paste your code in and simply click OK. That'll take a few seconds and boom, there's the contact form. Just position it into place. You can use your up arrow key. Just like that is fine. Or if you want to move it down actually to center it with the content. And now because the background is white, it's covering the website at the bottom. So let's just right click, arrange and send to back. And now we have our contact form. Press W on your keyboard and you can position it how you want. I'm happy with how that looks. Now to test this out, we can publish it online and send a message. So let's go up to file and publish online. You can see the title's called contact form final. That's fine. You can add a description if you want. Let's export it as single pages and then click publish. That'll take a few moments and then we'll look at it in a web browser. Here's the contact page from InDesign. Let's give it a go. So I'm going to put my first name, my email address, and let's just type in a generic message. Hey, this is amazing. Yes, I've read all the terms and click submit and that will be sent to my email and then the user can just click OK to go back to the form. What if you wanted to make changes to the form? Let's take a closer look at how to edit the content on Elf site and update the code in InDesign. If I wanted to make changes, I would just go back to the Elf site dashboard, click edit, and then choose appearance. For example, I can click on header and change the title size from 28 to 32 again. And I can go back to appearance and change the form fields and the fill color to a darker gray. I would republish it, close it, click install, copy the new code and go back to InDesign. Once you're back in InDesign, click on the form, then right click and choose edit HTML paste the new code in and click OK and you'll see that the changes happen in real time. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to design a contact page and embed an HTML form in Adobe InDesign. If you'd like to learn more about digital publishing in Adobe InDesign then check out this playlist right up here. Until next time, take care and keep creating.